Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. It's still on the matter of um, Mobad. Mama, Yeye Kudi got from Ojade. Only to repay on Bong or Consang on family or sister Hinwe or two more chance of their family and their family. Two more so we pay now. He came, he came. I want Nigerians, I want film more bad. A boy that will film more bad. She want family. She sister, I want side the wife. I be I want Nigerians. Thank you so much for watching. Until I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you all. Bye. Only very few, maybe two. Ha! Eja Kinja, you see. It's still on the sad news. But in the, the only innocent person around him is his son. All of you failed more bad. The Nigeria police force. You all failed more bad. He reported the case to the Nigeria police force. Nigeria police force, what did you people do? When Sam Larry claimed Eleguchi sent him out, that man now brought out a disclaimer on Sam Larry, Eleguchi. Being an acquaintance or whatever did was written on the public notice for us to read. This is all medicine after death. Nigeria police force, what did you people do? I'm not seeing uh, a representative of um, uh, Benjamin Uden is now stalking. They are going to exhume his cuffs to do what? Yes, it's good. We want it. You all felt more bad. We deep sympathy to the father. But I must say, Papa, you all felt more bad. How do you say an auxiliary nurse gave your son injection? Look, when that happened to Michael Jackson in America, a doctor, a certified doctor, recommended medication. What did they do to him? He went to jail. And then also, he doesn't practice anymore. It was revoked. His medical license was revoked from him forever. You all failed more, more bad. You immediately went to bury this guy without an autopsy. You all failed more bad. Not Nigerians. Nigerians are fighting for this guy now. All of you failed more bad. Why did you rush for the barrier after an auxiliary nurse you so know, Papa, that your son was given an injection and he probably, I mean, he slumped and died? Yes, Sam Larry can escape this as well. Even though, yes, don't prog the proximity of his death and Sam Larry's attack, you know, may not tally. But at the same time, they kept on frustrating this guy. He was bullied. He was assaulted. They made life so, 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 so. They demean him. No dignity whatsoever. You all failed more bad. Nigeria music industry, cabals there, you all failed more bad. The same way the cabals in Nigeria failed us politically as Nigerians. Many people are now coming out. Look at the one under Olamide, the princess. Everyone is coming out with how you people treat these guys, these girls. Because, you know, you, know, you want to promote them. The same thing they do in the movie industry, Nollywood industry. Sleep with people before they can allow them cast. The same way what you guys are doing. You use these boys because they are from poverty stricken background. And you destroy their lives. You all failed more bad. Nigeria police. And um, Papa, <laughs> do you know an auxiliary nurse is not meant to administer injection? Because I don't know how they go. Many auxiliary nurses have killed so many Nigerians. Someone needs to be used as a scapegoat. Sadly, your son fell a victim. Many auxiliary nurses, they are not... This is meant to serve as a lesson to Nigerians too. That when you are sick, you are meant to go to a practitioner. A certified, a practitioner did it in America. General practitioner, I think. A private doctor to Michael Jackson, Papa. He was convicted. 
then this happened to your child then you chose do you know how many people that auxiliary nurse is still going to kill because you don't know the condition of your son as at the time this injection was administered it could have triggered anything it could have triggered anything you don't know autopsy would have told us postmortem would have told us why the rush so you all Bogboyi, you all are complacent you know like you are an accomplice to his death Bogboyi, Lekpa. so don't transfer it on nigerians you all should be accountable he's a nigerian citizen now etipa not nigerians don't transfer what is not ours on us the moment nigerians saw that this star celebrity died look at how some mikorodu boys take me take penny they have been placing all kinds of curses what else can they do but it's all medicine after death police force this is more on you people the fact that that guy even reported to you people then how dare when such things happen in nigeria someone dies nobody knows the cause of death the real authentic causes so he could have been killed and they would just go and bury them in this abroad never you don't bury people like that everyone after death there must be an autopsy to clearly state what the cause of death is is it's a suspicious one how why hurry even when he's a muslim there must be an autopsy even when he dies in the hospital moreover he didn't so who does that police force to the knees where she no mark and shake your care after monk or to pamoy then in the end nigeria music industry the cabals dead as in their promoters when you are no more with these young boys and guest girls you know after using them for some kind of you know they become your star then the label you you, you sign them or they choose to leave you people then you start to stigmatize them you don't allow other cabals to promote them you destroy them you make sure when no like when this guy granted an interview and he said he chose to leave naira mali and then um, after that i think paulo koye wanted to promote him and you know he was being stigmatized by naira mali's label the malian label and you know this Naira Mali, they also used him as ambassador or a Nigerian ambassador for Keniko and DLA. And you know, these people are the ones that failed. They are the ones that failed you people. Who you died, uh, sister in law to what's it, uh, uh, Mobad, please retract it. Not Nigerians. We Nigerians, we love their music. When we hear such things, we act. Look at what has been happening since. We, did, we don't know this is happening in the industry. That all the big, big chain we see on these promoters is from these young lads. Because these guys come from, from ghetto, from the streets, just to make it. They look up to all these people. You people destroy their lives. You failed this boy.